is up ladies and gentle noobs. Today we're going to be discussing the sweaty side of VR and contractors. Now you may be thinking that you're the greatest player that's ever come across the game and that you've been stomping every single lobby that you've been playing every single night of the week. Now one thing that I'm sure you're all aware of is that contractors is an open lobby style system. Meaning that one night you can get into a lobby with a bunch of sweats who are dancing around in their mother's basement and the next you could be facing absolutely brand new players and going 65 and 4. Well, I'm here to introduce you to the dark side, eSports. And a big shout out to VREL, the VR eSports League. Just want to take a moment to say congratulations to all of these teams here that made it to the season tournament finale. You guys played your heart out and you all deserve a big pat on the back. These top 10 teams come out of a group of approximately 32 teams that started the season. Some of those teams are brand new and this is their first appearance, while others have been around for several years. Regardless of the case, there's a lot of good teams out there and a lot of good players. Now, as one of the co-captains and founder of Team Rogue, it's very important to realize that there are a lot of things that I've learned this season. It's important to have a deep roster and good players. Having a wide range of availability during the week and the weekend, as some teams only have availability during the week. This is an international league, so you'll be playing against people from APJ, and the EU on those servers. Their schedules are very different than ours and you may need to make sure that you have players that are available at all times. If you're going to build a new team or register a new team, please don't be rude and show up for your matches. It is absolutely disrespectful to waste the time of another team and other players in this community. Always remember to have fun and enjoy your time playing. If you tilt and go off on your teammates, there's a higher probability of losing and you're also going to come off as a total dickhead. Another thing is a new player or even an old player, at the beginning of every season, you should probably read the rules. There are certain things that are outlined that are outlawed, not allowed to be done in game, exploits or considered exploits, areas of the map that you shouldn't get on top of, even though you can, and these things will keep you from getting your little slap. Just like me not being perfect, neither is VRail and neither is the League. It's very early on. We all make mistakes, and we all try to account for those mistakes and make up for them. Changes come over time, and sometimes they're not implemented as quickly as you would like. This does not mean that you need to flame on and go absolutely ballistic in the VRail Discord, or scream at the staff who are volunteering their time to make the best league that they possibly can with their volunteer time. Now moving forward after the playoffs are complete, there will be another opportunity to register new teams to compete for a slot and ending up on stage in Las Vegas. That means even if you didn't play in season one, you can still register for season two and compete for one of those slots. Every season for four seasons until the beginning of next year, there will be a chance for one team to qualify. So even if you don't win the finals tournament after every single season, you still have a chance to play on stage. Seems like a pretty sweet gig to me. There's going to be some modifications to the scoring system and things that have been learned through the first season, which was kind of the beta season if you want to think of it that way, that will be coming to season two. And I'm super excited for those changes to include a new website and new programming to score the season as well. So that's about all I got for today, guys. Welcome to the competitive scene. Welcome to V-Rail. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, a happy 4th of July, and until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next one.